Well, you make a nice distinction in the book, I think, between um, uh, values and, and ethical values, mm -hmm. and that ethical values should just trump other values. And mm -hmm. so like a, a value for the journalism profession is, is getting a scoop, beating the competition, mm -hmm. being first with a story. And it's often the case when we screw up that the public's reaction is, well, well what's the rush? You mm -hmm. know, it's like, tell us that progress is being made in the investigation. And if and when someone's arrested, tell us then. But why do we need to know before? I mean, it's important to you guys to, to beat each other. Mm -hmm. But so it, I think my students see it as a case where um, the value of getting a scoop is trumping a concern for the privacy of this individual and the mm -hmm. damage to his reputation. And that really the public would have been happy to wait mm -hmm. until we had something more substantial like, like an arrest. Well, uh, uh, I think the, it's a matter of degree. I think if they'd waited one more day uh, that most everybody would agree with. The, every, a lot of people know now that Jewel is a suspect and, and there's not a whole lot to be gained by waiting. But I do think that, uh, that the, what I call in the book, borrowing a term from Michael Josephson, the ethicist uh, of non-ethical values, not unethical, but simply uh, non-ethical, uh, getting a story first, beating the competition, selling papers, are all things that if we are in this business we need to do or we don't survive. But the question is, as Josephson makes very clear, uh, if you achieve those at the expense of violating uh, an ethical value, so respecting privacy, respecting uh, and, and fairness and justice in the Jewel case, uh, then that's a, that, that uh, it falls short. It's not a good decision. He does not even consider that an ethical dilemma. That the, the, if you analyze uh, the values involved, which is getting a story first versus uh, respecting justice and fairness, uh, justice and fairness wins because it's an ethical value and this is a non-ethical. Uh, so that, that was a case that I would argue that I'd like to see more journalists try to think things through uh, using the formula we, uh, we talk about in the book uh, of stopping to think and, and putting yourself in for, you know, a golden rule, putting yourself in Jules place. Do you think you're being treated fairly in this? You may not want the story about you written, but if the story is written, would you think that it, they treated you fairly? You had every opportunity to defend yourself and so forth. And that, that didn't happen, unfortunately, in the, in the Jewel case in the Atlanta Journal-Constitution.